He campaigned on cleaning up the streets of Taylorville and now 18 months on the job. Taylorville's new mayor is taking on one of the biggest tasks to hit the small town, a literal mess in the streets. Our town is really in a, it's in a, really in a disaster zone and whoever would have thought that. With more than 500 homes wrecked by an EF3 tornado, he's got a lot on his hands. WCI 3's Raquel Martin tagged along with Mayor Bruce Berry as he works to help his community rise from the rubble. I thought the biggest thing would be trying to clean the streets and pick up the leaves and do things like that. And now we got to deal with this, but we'll deal with it. In the face of disaster, no, Taylorville's fine. newest mayor, right. Bruce Berry, right. isn't cracking right. under the pressure. Every day, all day, Don't he's worry. on duty Don't taking call. calls. Can I send this guy over there to talk with you? And, uh, Making calls. You're where a firehouse is. This road is. And putting boots on the ground. All right. Thursday, he made his rounds, first dropping off food for prisoners, helping clean the roads. One is doing well, and if you need anything, just contact my office. And checking on volunteers. We'll make sure you guys get fed. With more than 500 homes wrecked and countless families in need, there's no time for a break. Thank you very much. Take care. All right. Thank you. And uh, it's just amazing, it's just the outpouring of the community. Since the tornado struck, agencies from across central Illinois have come to help. National Presbyterian volunteers just arrived. Buries their destruction yeah. tour guide. This area is going to need a lot of chainsaws and manpower. Yeah. Once the tour wraps up, it's back to the boardroom for updates. Though wounds are fresh, Barry, who was born and raised here, is confident this community will make a comeback. Hopefully before Christmas, we can get all most of this cleaned up and people back in their homes. Taylorville's strong. In Taylorville, Raquel Martin, WCIA 3, your local news leader. City leaders are still assessing the damage to decide if state or federal money will be available. Tomorrow, they'll have a multi-agency resource center available for victims needing help getting back on their feet. That begins at 11 a.m. at the Taylorville Christian Church. The American Red Cross closed its shelter in Taylorville about an hour ago. It opened Saturday night to help families who were impacted by the tornado. As of today, 11 people took advantage of overnight stays.